What? So I'm sure that a lot of us noticed late last night on Twitter that Nintendo posted this weird tweet and update and video with some kind of new Nintendo Switch, quote, experience that they're going to be revealing in just a couple of days on September 12th. And this video included a bunch of weird, wild, and wacky stuff using Joy-Cons, and it left most of us pretty confused. So if we take a look at the actual tweet that Nintendo put out last night, it reads as follows. Check out this first look at a new experience for Nintendo Switch. Stay tuned for more information on September 12th. That's the gist of the tweet, and the only thing they gave us is they're calling it a new, quote, experience for the Switch. And on September 12th, they're going to basically tell us more about it, which I assume also probably means giving us a name for this device, as well as a release date and hopefully some sort of indication on games and gameplay, and really just more about what this thing actually is. I have seen some people being confused in some comments and some tweets about them like releasing this thing on September 12th. And so I don't really know how people are really getting their wires crossed there, but it's pretty clear that they say more information on the 12th. Obviously they would need months and months of promo and hype and marketing to actually get this thing out on store shelves for people to buy. So they're not gonna be releasing something this crazy in just a couple of days. They need to first tell us what it is, show us what it can do, more so than this weird kind of hilarious video. So what's going on here? What is this thing? What do I think about what this thing is? Well, you're obviously watching footage of this trailer playing throughout this video, not to mention, I know you've already seen this. I mean, come on, anyone coming to this video would have already known that this thing exists and Nintendo put this tweet out. And it is very curious that this tweet was put out just the day after the Nintendo Direct. Some people have also brought that up like, oh my god, Nintendo, you released this the day after the Nintendo Direct. Why didn't you put this in the Nintendo Direct? And to me, that seems pretty obvious why this thing really wouldn't have belonged in a Nintendo Direct. Because I think it's clear that this thing is not marketed at normal traditional gamers and Nintendo gamers. That's very obvious what they're doing here. So... What are we looking at? Like I said, what are we looking at and what do I think about this? Um, I think that we're looking at the side of Nintendo that always tries to put out weird, quirky, innovative ideas. They never want to stop thinking outside the box and making weird products that no one else in the industry has the guts to make. And we're also seeing the side of Nintendo that still is refusing to try and recapture that casual Wii audience. That is what I'm assuming this thing turns out to be. In all fairness, if we're going to be really honest with ourselves here, and we, we have to say this, there's a chance this does turn out to be something that is catered to the hardcore, normal, traditional gamer like you and me. Somebody who likes games like The Legend of Zelda, and Gears of War, and Uncharted, and Metroid, and Mario games. Like, it maybe is something that can appeal to us as well. But if we're being real, I'm going to just give you my flat-out assumption and guess and theory here based on this trailer is that it's not going to be that. I think it is trying to ape some of the success the Wii had, and this feels like the the Nintendo of the Wii era, still alive and well in the Switch era, trying to do the same thing. And it's for that reason that honestly, if this turns out to be exactly that, that I'm not gonna be interested in it. I honestly find this thing I think that it's going to be similar to what Nintendo Labo was. I think it's going to be really cool in terms of the tech and how it's going to showcase what the Joy-Cons can do. That part interests me and I'm fascinated to see what's possible here. But I don't anticipate this being anything for me and probably even for most of you. I mean, I don't want to actually speak for you in case it's something you do want to buy because some people have expressed that they're very excited for it already. And that's great. That's please, if you're into it, absolutely buy it and enjoy it. But I think the average more core gamer like me and a lot of you guys is not really going to get much from this. Um, this seems like the kind of Nintendo that was into Labo, only they're making, whereas Labo I think was, you know, using a lot of the same concepts this thing seems to be using, but focusing it more at young kids, I think this is going to be focused more on older kids, you know, like teens and stuff, as well as just the casual gaming adult. That's why you see a lot of moms and grandmas and teenagers in this video using this thing, you know, and I mean, this thing, it's... It's so, I haven't even talked about what it is, even though you can obviously see it. It's like a couple of things. It's like this plastic round band that holds the Joy-Cons and people are holding it in weird ways and twisting with it and doing like sit-ups with it and stuff. And then there also seems to be a strap version where people are strapping it to their leg and they're running in place as if it's like tracking their steps and their speed and probably their calories burned and stuff like that. And so that's where 
uh, you know, if you really try to dissect this thing based on just the people playing it, because we have seen no gameplay here, it seems like it's doing either like, you know, what Wii Fit was or what Wii Sports was, you know? I mean, everyone's going into this Switch Fit territory. Instead of Wii Fit, it's Switch Fit. And yeah, I think that's appropriate, but it also could be a Switch Sports. I mean, you know, there was Wii Sports, this could be Switch Sports. Maybe it's doing kind of the equivalent of both, where it's it's all about being active and burning calories, but it might also be about doing weird mini games, you know, that are like in the sports kind of field of gameplay, you know, with using probably simple me characters or something or uh, whatever they're going to do. I mean, Miis obviously haven't gone away. We can use them as our avatars for Nintendo Switch, and they're also appearing still in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so they might bring those back for whatever this game could be. Who knows? And so we start to wonder what the game is actually going to be or the gameplay, the games, the actual features here. Is this going to be one piece of software like a Wii Fit or a Wii Sports was? And that's all you use this thing for? You buy the game and the plastic, you know, tube thing all together? Or is it going to be something more like Labo where they can kind of play around with it and make it work for a variety of different software and even start to infuse some of its capabilities into other games? The way Labo started to suddenly be usable with like Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda and Smash Brothers, maybe they can eventually do something here where you can use this in other games in the future as well. And like, that's all interesting. Again, I'm definitely curious and excited to just learn about this thing, see what it's called, see what it can really do. Um, but assuming that all of the stuff I'm talking about is true, which to be honest, I feel pretty good about it being true. Like I said, it's just not something for me. It doesn't have me excited to buy it. It has me excited to learn about it, but it doesn't have me excited to necessarily buy or experience it. And again, this is why this thing really just didn't belong in the Nintendo Direct. I mean, they wanted the Direct to be focused on actual games. They only talked about games, you know, and the online service. And that's all they usually talk about for the most part. Heck, they didn't even bring up the Nintendo Switch Lite. I mean, there was some footage of the Lite for one of the trailers, but they didn't talk about it at all. And it comes out in like two weeks. You'd think that they would have spoken about it there. So if they're not going to talk about the Switch Lite, they're not going to talk about this weird, you know, Switch Band 2.0, whatever this thing becomes, the Switch Hula Hoop kind of thing. They're, they're, it's, it just doesn't cater to that same market, you guys. And anyone out there who's excited for this thinking it's going to cater to the core market, I would say, bless you, child, you are so optimistic, <laughs> but this thing is not going to cater to the core gamer. And again, that doesn't mean it's it's going to be bad, and it doesn't mean that a core gamer can't be interested in it for what it's going to do, but this thing isn't made for you and I. It's not going to be making those kinds of game experiences, at least right out of the box. Maybe in you know the next months to year, we see that you can suddenly use it in Breath of the Wild, and it's like, okay, they're doing the same thing they did with Labo, and that's fine. Um, I will also add here that, and I kind of touched on this already, it is cool to see that they're doing more stuff with the Joy-Cons. Now, this, of course, comes just like a month after I made my video about, you know, are, have the Joy-Cons be, been a bust by Nintendo? Like, because people and Nintendo really haven't been using the, the features and the capabilities of the Joy-Cons to their max, you know, after Labo came out, and then, of course, the Nintendo Switch Lite is confirmed, and suddenly there's no Joy-Cons for those things. And, and so I was like, maybe the Joy-Cons are a bust and people are never really going to remember them for that. But then, to Nintendo's credit, they then come out with this crazy, wacky, weird-ass thing, whatever it turns out to be. And this is clearly using the Joy-Cons and the technology and features built within them to create whatever experience people are experiencing here. And so, while it's, again, not something catered to me as far as how it's using Joy-Con technology... It is still cool, and I gotta give them props and credit for finding another creative way to use the technology they built into the Joy-Con. I mean, I think the Joy-Cons are awesome, and I've been very sad to see that they haven't been used much, and that, for the most part, I do still see them as a, quote, bust. I just do, because not enough core gaming experiences have used those features well. But, Labo showed some of the cool stuff you can do with it. This product seems to be showing us some of the cool stuff you can do with it, and so... I have to bring that up because it's an important piece to what this thing is. And so at the end of the day, like I said, this thing is basically Nintendo trying to capture the Wii audience again. We're going to see a very casual product using very casual gameplay mechanics and software 
trying to capture a casual gamer. That's what this is. They want to expand the reach of the Nintendo Switch beyond just the core gamers that have been out there buying this thing. To be fair, when it comes to the Switch, we knew right out of the gate it was going to capture the Nintendo fan, but what it's also managed to do is recapture the lost Nintendo fan. I think that's part of why it's been so successful so far. People who used to love Nintendo but then left them during the Wii and the Wii U years obviously came back, or maybe people who never thought they were Nintendo fans only sticking to Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Suddenly the Switch comes out and is really awesome and they bring themselves over to switch they're like well now i want one of these nintendo consoles too because it's so cool but what about the people on the fringe what about the moms and grandmas and retirement homes of the wii era that got that thing to over 100 million units that's what this is this is nintendo's attempt to recapture that the labo wasn't that the labo was a great way to make a great product for young kids and young minds to get them creative and thinking and also showcase what the joy cons are capable of and it was great for that but it wasn't trying to capture the wii audience the same way i think this thing is and so we're obviously going to have to wait and see if this is all true i'm just kind of giving you my theories based off of this minute and 40 second footage that they've given us with no gameplay and nothing but a bunch of people acting like weirdos holding this thing. So we have to wait and see what it, what it's called, what the software is like, and what the marketing is going to look like. Based on this trailer, this trailer just showed a bunch of people, casual looking gamers, doing weird things with this product set to like you know, typical casual Nintendo product music. You know, everything about this screamed casual. Nothing about this screamed games for you and me. And so that's what I think this is. This is going to be Wii 2.0. It's Wii Sports. It's Switch Sports. It's Wii Fit. It's Switch Fit. That's what this thing is. So it'll be interesting to see. Only a couple of days, you guys. Literally just like basically a week from now, six days, they're going to show this thing on September 12th. And so obviously at that time, I will... I will review it, I will discuss it, I will talk to you guys about it and what I think it is and how I think it's going to do once we know what it truly is, what it looks like, what the, name, what the name is, heck, the price, what if this thing is ridiculously overpriced, I mean, all that stuff is going to matter, so... Either way, that's what I think about this new Switch experience <laughs> based on this little trailer that they've given us. What do you guys think? What were your takeaways when you saw this trailer go up last night? How do you think it compares to the Nintendo Direct conversation? What do you think about my theories that this is more casual than anything? It's Nintendo trying to catch that Wii casual fringe audience again. Or do you disagree with that and you think it's going to be something for games like Doom and Metroid and Zelda and all that stuff? Maybe you think I'm wrong and it's going to be like this super hardcore awesome device. So, whatever you think, talk about this crazy thing below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.